This short video will help you configure a logic output as a machine start in the Navigator software. Make sure the signal you wish to modify is disconnected in the grid. Navigator won't let you modify a connected signal. If the connection has a red line through it, that means the connection is locked. You'll first need to unlock it to disconnect it. In this case, our source is connected to a destination representing a fader on the console. This connection happens automatically in the grid when you select a source for a fader on the console. Right-click on the destination the source is connected to and select Unlock Signal. Now you can disconnect the signal in the grid. Right-click on the audio source you wish to associate the logic with. In this example, we have pre-named the audio source CD1. Select Modify Signal from the available choices by left-clicking on it. This will open the Source Wizard window. Select the LIO Info tab. Click the Add button to open the Assign an LIO screen, where you select the blade or logic pin you're going to use. You may need to click the plus symbol to expand the view of the LIO pins. Left click on the desired pin to select it. Use the drop down selector to choose the desired function. We're choosing machine start in this example. For the direction, choose output, since machine start is a logic output from the blade's perspective. Now click apply, then click close. This takes you back to the source signal wizard screen. Click the finish button. Now, reconnect the CD1 source to its destination. Right-click on the destination and select Lock Signal to relock the connection. That's it! You have configured the CD1 source to activate a logic output pulse on a specific pin of the blade's LIO connector when the ON button is pressed on the fader or faders that have CD1 selected as their source. If a machine stop is also desired, you would repeat the steps above, selecting a different logic output pin, and selecting machine stop as the function name.